So I'm going to start out with a little bit of uh, avocado oil. And some good old sauteed jalapenos and onions. Just let those cook down just a little bit. So today I'm making some lunch and grilled cheeses are just something I really like and I saw a video of someone doing a hot dog grilled cheese sandwich so I thought that would be great a great thing to try haven't tried it yet I do a lot of things I haven't tried yet on this channel from time to time and this is another one so we're first we're going to just saute up some onions and some jalapenos and what I did is I went ahead and took the uh, hot dogs and slid them just down the center about halfway and turn them over so that they stay together and press them down and then I did the same uh, to the buns well the buns were already cut but I went ahead and flattened them out as well added a little butter to both sides of the buns this is just a simple simple uh, dish uh, and of course you don't need the onions and jalapenos but that's just something that I wanted to add to it and I thought it's going to be great so that's going to be our lunch today the dinner I'm actually going to be cooking a, a spatchcock chicken on the pit barrel and I'll be filming that so that'll be in an upcoming video as well I'm not going to hang it I'm going to spatchcock one and season it uh, so that'll be good for dinner time let me cook these up and a future video so if you're new here this is the Oki smoking channel where I do everything on the uh, Blackstone I do pit barrel cooking a little bit of Weber I would like to get into some Weber Smoky Mountain so later on I might actually get me one of those I'm thinking after we hit a thousand subs I'll grab a Weber Smoky Mountain and add that to our uh, catalog of uh, cooking because I've always wanted one. I watch a lot of videos and uh, I think that would be great. See, this is just so simple. I've just got some basic, I'm using Kobe Jack cheese and uh, there is the hot dog and buns. I've, like you can see, buttered both sides of the buns. I want to try to place these without breaking them apart if I can. Set this. Okay, just going to place one right here. Place one right here. Then these hot dogs we're going to place on one side of the bun. I think we'll add some cheese on the other side. Let these cook up a little more while those also cook. I'm going to turn the heat on medium. You can see it sizzling there from that butter. Okay, let's go ahead and add it. All these sauteed veggies, a little onion, a little bit, you know, some green bell peppers, that would be good. Okay, I'm going to let those cook some more. How about some more cheese? You can't have more, can't have enough cheese. Add that on here. Yeah, maybe just add some on that side too now. Ah. <laughs> uh. Finish off the rest of these. Just 
press this down. I'm just going to let that cook. Let's see if that'll heat up a little. And we're going to try a bend here in a minute. Not sure how well this is going to go. Maybe I should have put all of the stuff on one side so I could bend it easier. We don't know. Uh, but I did also, if you notice, get a little bigger spatula. Uh, a lot of my videos said I need a bigger spatula when I'm flipping burgers or on my uh, smash taco video. So I, I got a bigger spatula. I listen. And that'll work out handy here. Just going to go ahead and try to bend this over. Oh, yeah. Squish it down. Try this next one. Easy. Press. Now just let that inside cook for just a little bit. You know what? I think I messed up. I probably should have cooked the hot dogs on the griddle first before I put them on the bun, but hmm, we'll see how this how this comes out. So I'm just going to let this cook a little while on low, let the cheese melt, let the hot dog warm up since I forgot to put it on the griddle, and then uh, I'll plate it and we'll see how it tastes. I also have this dome which I can put on here. Just let that cook like that for just a little bit. Let that heat stay inside and melt that cheese a little. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and try this. Added vegetables just right there. Place this one right here, we'll cut into it, see what it looks like. Looks good. Yeah, it tastes. Really good. Uh, if you like sauteed onions, sauteed jalapenos and hot dogs, it's you ought to try this. It's really good. The um, only thing I would say is you might cook the hot dog on the griddle, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, just a little bit, brown it before you put it on there. I was going to do that. At, forgot but it got warm inside so it's still fine and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off uh, it, it's really it's really good if you like some unusual grilled cheese sandwiches you might check this video out as well I did a kimchi one kimchi on a grilled cheese sandwich and that was good too I tell you I like to elevate my grilled cheeses, so um, something a little different, hot dogs, kimchi, add whatever you want, but give this a try.